Violet knows my mom's left shoe and always eats the left one. She had one of my son's most prized boots, and she had annihilated the boot to the tune of probably about a $200 boot. Oh my gosh, just that time? <laughs> all the garage, we, we were gonna have a garage sale and we had all the garage sale stuff. Um, clothes, shoes, purses, you name it. Oh, and toys. Uh, we have a playroom. We all had it out there ready to set up in the morning. We worked so hard to get everything out. It was all in boxes and then he got somehow left alone to to destroy almost everything. We had half of our stuff just shredded. It was going to take so much work to just clean it up and get it all out there, and we didn't have enough time, so we just didn't do it. We're crotchless. You, if you have dogs and you leave your underwear on the floor, you will wear crotchless drawers. Well, when she went into heat, we got her the little poochie panties to keep her off the things. And I came home from work one day, and she had somehow managed to tear her little panties off. And that happened to be the day that the bug man came in to spray for bugs. So I came home from work, and here's this little sanitary napkin all kind of chewed up in the living room. And I'm sure the um, bug man didn't attribute that to the dog, so he probably wasn't sure what kind of filthy people he was dealing with, but um, that was a little bit embarrassing for me, but it was Brittany's, so. Sure. <laughs> so they brought in a English bull terrier that had ate a lady's panties, lace ones. Came out clean. clean. They could have come out by themselves without any other poop or fecal material with them. But I certainly wouldn't have taken them and put them on at that point. <laughs> and I had left my jewelry sitting there, and he ate my jewelry. He ate a trigo earring, a watch, and an angel. And he ate it, ate it. She ate a roach motel. Interestingly enough, my partner's dog uh, went to the beach and ate a stingray. Here. Come here. Tank, you see this little bitty snout? He shoved both those huge pieces of meat in that snout. Yeah, I came into the kitchen, and I just see the dog going, you know, and I'm going, oh, my God. And I pried his mouth open, and, a, you know, and a big hunk of meat fell off, and I'm going, oh, okay. And he's still going, and I'm going, what else could be in there? You know, and I shake it again, and another piece came out. Hot dog. Oh, he loves hot dogs. And so she had all her desserts lined up on the counter, and our dog, being the hungry animal that it was, jumped up on the counter and ate at least three of the six desserts. It ate my rabbit that I got from the hospital. When I had my... Yeah, a stuffed rabbit. <laughs> well, it did eat my hamster. Because it had like this little hamster ball, and the hamster was rolling around in it. And um, the dog broke open the hamster ball, and it got the hamster out of it. Well, it lived eventually. It lived. And it's ate in five remote controls. And she ate the corners off the picnic table. She ate the picnic table. Simpson family. Otis cheated up because it was on her back porch. Um, he ate a, uh, a necklace a flashlight and a, and a box, uh, like a wood box, and we never found the batteries to the flashlight, so. <laughs> We've taken walnuts out of dogs, tennis balls. He kind of squashed it and swallowed it, and we never did quite figure out how. Uh, good news razor, blades, handle, the whole bit, and chewed it up. We took x-rays of this dog, and you could see little honks, and then you could see the razor blades just as pretty in his stomach. You, but. Y'all got an x-ray machine or something? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah right. we'll get one. This x-ray came from a colleague here in Tallahassee. And this is a little Jack Russell Terrier. And so they radiographed it thinking it had eaten a watch. And if you look right here, you can see there's not a watch in there, but there's a nail. Sitting in the intestines, you see this white kind of triangular object there. That is a rock. And same dog who opened this dog up, did surgery, went to remove this round object, and it was a Nerf ball. And the owner said, you know what? We used to have a red one and a yellow one. And about a year ago, one of them came up missing. This, this pup decided to swallow a safety pin, which the owner saw. The standard treatment, unless there's a particular hazard posed, is to just let it pass. And indeed, that's just what it did. 
This dog ate a leash. So an entire four foot leash was in this dog. And that, this ring right here is the same as that ring that you see right there. Reached in and grabbed a, um, a wood floor buffer, chewed that up a little bit, a weed whacker, two tents. He chewed one hole uh, through one of the tents. I guess it was like butter after chewing through here. And boy, we weren't happy. He had chewed up my whole AC duct work. We live in a double wide. Uh -huh. She's torn up siding. I mean, she's taken out major chunks of siding. And she also ate a big, huge hole in the wall. That's this big. Bit holes into the sheetrock all along the edge of the wall in the garage. And he bit a big hole in the door, big enough for him to hit, put his, hole, uh, his head in, and then took the electrical cord for the light switch and pulled that all the way up the door. You gotta come home. I was at work. You gotta come home. Sugar Ray's got rabies. And I'm like, Sugar Ray, I have rabies. I did his vaccinations. And, he, and sure enough, he's just foam coming out of his mouth. And uh, he had eaten sheetrock. He didn't have any rabies. He had sheetrock attack. But other than that, she's a great dog. I mean, she's just. Uh... <laughs>